Yeah. As for my sickness, it's gotten worse. Last night, it's gotten really bad. It's daytime now. The sun's coming up. It's uh, it's like six something, six thirty a.m. maybe. Yeah. Pain in my joints has gotten really, really bad. To the point where I can't can't lay down. If I don't move uh, and I uh, lay down, my hip pain gets really bad in the joint. I can't sleep. I got a headache right here. I got sinus pressure all right here too, so that's probably causing it. And I have a headache in the back of my skull. My joints are killing me, especially my hip joints for some reason, more than anything. Ugh. I got a headache. For some reason it feels really good. I shut the AC pretty much off. I got a fan on a little bit. But uh I'm a polar bear. I can't handle heat very well. I love AC. I love cold as I can get it. And right now I feel better in the heat. I can't handle the cold. My throat has something like there's sand in it. And then I have a sore throat too. Yeah, this one nostril keeps leaking because this sinus is the one that's giving me all the trouble. Most of it, and then there's a ton of pressure in these two. Uh, felt a little nauseous about t 10 minutes ago. I went in in the shower. I've had about five showers tonight. And I found I could sit for like 30 minutes under the as hot as I could possibly get the heat in the water. Uh, and I could just sit there on the floor in the shower and that's the only time I feel decent. Oh, everything hurts. I don't know if I've got a... A friend uh, mentioned dengue fever. He's in Thailand. He's had it. Um, I looked. The, uh, the symptoms seem right on. But so does malaria. So I'm hoping I just have a really bad sinus infection with like a flu or something. Uh, I don't want malaria. I don't want anything. Called my wife a couple minutes ago, told her to get ready and meet me down there. I don't want her to get close in case it is a contagious thing. Uh, but I need her to translate in case I don't have doctors that speak English. I'm sure there probably is. I don't know, though. But she can translate very well and explain my symptoms to them better than anybody. Say, i got to get up and walk. If I don't walk, this gets worse. The more I lay, I, like if I lay down at all, oh, my hip pain just goes through the roof. Uh, it's in the joints, in my hips. It's horrible. It's down my legs. My headache is just pounding like hammers in my head. The thing that's really bothering me is the the feeling uh, colder than normal. Having wanting to be around heat, which isn't normal for me. Uh, the headache being so hard and the joint aching is uh, scaring me into going to the hospital because I normally would ride something like this out but being here in Thailand you know there's a lot of mosquito borne diseases that can come and here in my apartment there's no really mosquitoes here I'm on the second floor and they don't really go that high but uh, over at my wife's family's house where I was there's a lot of mosquitoes and uh, we're on the first floor, so mosquitoes come in. I was getting bit all night, all day, you know, wherever, especially if you go to the bathroom, you're sitting in the bathroom, they attack your legs. You get to carry an electric fly swatter with you everywhere you go and just kill them. But the, uh, yeah, man, I got bit by a lot of mosquitoes over there. And the ties that have had dengue fever and, and bouts of stuff like that are less susceptible to get it, I think. I think, I think I read that somewhere. So maybe they don't get it as easy anymore. Or to them, it's, the symptoms are way less because they've had it so many times. What not? Uh, the guard at my building came in and shut the lights out in the hallway before it was even bright out, before the light was even outside. So uh, I went to look out my peephole. I couldn't see Jack. I had to go back out there and turn the light on. And somebody kept on plugging my wireless router too. The wireless router on the floor here. I don't know why. Keep plugging it back in. Oh. I don't know.
So, yeah, basically I come into the shower here. And I turn the water on full blast, hot. And I sit right here on the floor and I just, I move that mat over and I sit on it. I just sit there in the blazing hot water. That's like all I can do to, uh, to handle it. I'm thinking about doing it again. But I don't think I should. I should, I should wait go to the hospital. So my wife's getting ready to meet me. I know she's probably already freaked out. So I told her call me when she's ready. She's feeding the baby. And uh, I'll meet her there at Saimai Hospital. Yeah. Which is only about, I don't know, 40 blocks from me. 30, 40 blocks or something. I don't know. It's not that far. It's only about 10 or 20 blocks from her. I'm not sure. Not far. really sucks. I made a video earlier tonight when I first got here around 6 p.m., 7 p.m., something like that. I don't know. Actually, I made another video around like 1, 1 in the morning to like almost 2, and I was even doing okay at that point, and then it just went downhill. By 3, 3 a.m., I was just I'm in a whole nother world. I'm just going to keep walking, keep my hips from hurting. Seems to be the only thing that helps. So if this is malaria or dengue fever, I'll update this and I'll let you guys know. Man, it sucks. I hope it's just a flu. I haven't had a flu in probably 15 years or something, man. It's been a long time. Oh, I've managed to not get anything more than a common cold or anything, you know. Had a few bad colds, some sinus infections, but no flus. I hope it's just a flu. I hope it's nothing but flu I can deal with, not malaria. The gift that keeps on giving 50 years later, you get flashbacks of it, and your liver and spleen and everything take a crap, your kidneys fail. Not a good thing. So. A lot of Vietnam vets are suffering from it now, 40 years later. Yeah. It's daylight out. Burmese work camp across the street. So I'll try to update you guys later. I don't know if I should bring my camera because I might be out of it when I get there. If they can give me something to go to sleep, that's all I want to do. I want to sleep and sleep through this. So if they can give me something to sleep, I'm going to sleep. I do not want to deal with this. If I could sleep right now, I would. Like, so as soon as I lay down, the pain just starts coming in my hips. Oh, it's unbelievable. Doesn't matter how I lay, no matter what I do, the pain just starts coming. And it's just like a freight train. It just gets worse and worse and worse. And it won't stop. Anyway, I'll uh, cut this one short now, and my next update might be after everything, I don't know, so we'll see. Have a good one, guys.